Shocker! There's a lot of opinion and misconception out there on the internet about what the GoSun EV solar charger is all about. So this video is designed to help you understand what it is, how it works, and who it's for. Please stay tuned to learn more about this kick invention that allows you to drive on sunshine. So the device itself fits on any set of crossbars and we're designing this to fit on a wide variety of vehicles. So you just need a set of crossbars and then you install the EV charger which is essentially four foot by four foot by about five or six inches tall. The array itself when unfolded is around 20 feet long and then it, it's compact when folded up that it all fits inside this case. I'll show you what that looks like by opening up the case. It's running on a nice strong gas strut. And then inside the case is a 1500 watt lithium iron phosphate battery that takes sunshine, uh, holds on to the solar energy until that battery is happy enough to turn the inverter on and then dispatch energy into the car. It's hard being green guys. It takes at least one minute to set this thing up. I mean, this is exhausting. First, I'm gonna unlock the case. Second, I'm gonna fill up the gas strut and lift the puppy. Third, I'm gonna start unfolding the solar panels. Okay, that's done. And then third, I'm gonna take my EVSE cable, which is literally living up inside here. I'm gonna turn it on. And then I'm gonna start charging. Now, if I think that the weather is a little windy, um, if I'm a little worried about what's coming, then I'm gonna go ahead and, and make sure that my uh, wind deflectors are set up and clipped. So this takes you know maybe an extra minute. Third, I often like to have um, the array as flat as possible. So I will, in this case, just make sure that I've got my little extension because a lot like this is a car that's kind of um, hatchback and I want to make sure that that's set up uh, to be able to absorb as much sun in a flat perspective as possible. And there we are. We're charging on sunshine right now. I mean, we, we designed this for people who believe in a solar power future, for people who want to live with clean tech and have solar powered independence. So basically, we, we also know that there's a lot of people that this product fits, like people that own EVs are our first target. This thing's also great for folks that want to explore the off-grid, maybe not in an electric car. I mean, it has a 110 volt household outlet. You can use this on your van or your out overlanding rig, you know, your truck or your Jeep. You've got an 1100 watt solar array and a 1500 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery all integrated into this tiny little package. It's the biggest and best pound for pound solar powered punch that's ever existed. If it's as compelling to you, it's probably for you and you should check it out. Of course, the question we get the most is all about range and, and how much actually energy does this thing provide? And there's so much naysaying out there on that uh, that I want to try to set the record straight. You know, really this thing, it, it may not be all the miles that you need for your EV on an annual basis, but essentially you're getting about 500 miles of free solar energy every month, just by capturing the sun that falls on the vehicle itself. And, and look, I know that, you know, making 20 miles a day isn't much. It's like making a gallon of gas every day. If you use it, you know, say 80% of the year, you know, that'll literally create 7,000 miles of range in a year. And the average electric car is driven about 17 miles a day. You can literally meet your annual driving needs with this thing. So this isn't some kind of a joke, folks. And so the next thing we're gonna talk about is theft because we get so many people questioning and, and being concerned about, about how to protect this with the tweakers that are on the sidewalk. It's actually easier to steal the whole vehicle than it is to steal the EV solar charger on top. So of course the whole case is locked shut 
and that's a really durable lock that's super hard to tamper with should you be able to get inside. Everything is bolted down to your crossbars and you really can't get at that very easily. So like hand tools that would otherwise say cut metal, it's almost impossible to get in here. So A, it's hard to steal. And then finally, we're throwing in a GPS tracking device so that you can make sure that if it does ever get stolen, heaven forbid, you can track that thief down and get and recover, kind of like an Apple AirTag, you can recover the product. Theft is super minimal because people don't understand solar and they don't know how to use it or benefit from it. So it's not as valuable as a kayak or a bicycle. We're here at the GoSun headquarters, kind of our uh, R&D facility as well as our warehouse. Something else we want to address that's all over the internet is how inefficient people believe this is to have on the roof of their vehicles with respect to aerodynamics and weight. This thing is indeed about five inches of extra height above your roof rack or roof bars, but that five inches is not gonna hurt your aerodynamics horribly. Uh, driving around town below 50 miles an hour, it's pretty much negligible. When you are uh, at highway speeds, this is going to be about a 10% hit on your overall energy consumption. When it comes to giant long road trips, this is not ideal, but for generally driving around town, all that driving that you're doing is powered by the sun. So it's a net positive to have the EV charger on your car, even with a 10% aerodynamic loss because you're still driving on sunshine. So by now, I think you've seen how this product is durable, effective, and secure. And if you're interested in being a part of this effort, I would encourage you to check out our offering on Start Engine. You can invest in GoSun and you can earn an EV solar charger for $5,000 as a reward and a part of your investment. We're the world's first company that has really been pushing solar powered mobility and integrating it into the footprint of the vehicle so you can drive on sunshine.